On today's episode, we're going to review this website of Dagger Media, which is the website of the agency of P. Dagger, which designs website. Let's go over it, see what we think, and how this can be improved. Stay tuned. Hey, everybody. What's up? My name is Ron Segal. Welcome back to another portfolio review. Every once in a while, I do these portfolio reviews. I've asked on my Instagram account, drop me your link and I'll review your website. If you're not on my Instagram, make sure you're there so that I can review your website as well. Let's get started with this review of Dagger Media. So let's get started with the message. We design website that gets you real results. Design, build, improve websites for fitness and medical niche fast within 24 hours. So Let's get started talking about the message before we go on to talk about the design. First of all, I think that it's pretty good that he's talking about actually solving business problems. A lot of people, you would go into their portfolio and it will be just like, we do web design. We're building brands for businesses, which is very generic. He's actually saying that he's focusing on getting results, using websites for getting results. He's even saying that he's working with fitness and medical niches and that he's working within 24 hours. So there's actually a lot here. I would actually switch this around and and I would probably choose either fitness or medical or just combine them together into some kind of a wellness or something like that. Um, and I would state that in the big headline, like we get results, we design websites that get results for fitness and medical businesses. I wouldn't say niche here, but I would say businesses. And then fast within 24 hours, that's pretty impressive and you know important value proposition. So I would probably put that on the top. Now, looking at the actual design, there's a few things here. First of all, when we're talking about hierarchy, which is what is the thing that you see first in the first 10 seconds, probably when you're looking into the website. Actually, the biggest thing on the screen here is this. It's actually the second section, the problem that we solve and not this. So this is kind of like a little bit of a bad hierarchy because you want people to be focused on the hero first and only then moving down to the second section. So either you make the the hero bigger so you, you won't be able to see this before scrolling or you make this bigger and this a little bit smaller. By the way, there's something here that I might be like, I don't know, a little anal about this, but the fact that this is not capitalized where the rest is capitalized, makes me feel like there's a little bit of missing in the details. And for me, at least, you know, it, it does change. Um, so I would change the hierarchies. I'll probably make this bigger and this smaller. Now this one, probably, I don't know, I, to be super honest, I feel like maybe it's because I live in the design industry, but I see these illustrations all over the place. And so for me at this point, it feels a little bit generic, but I have to say that we have to think about this from the perspective of the business owner. Maybe people in the fitness and medical businesses don't see these images that often. But then again, I think if you know that you're working with people in fitness and medical, why don't you show images that are relevant to them that will immediately make them recognize themselves? Oh, this person or this agency works with clients like me. You want them to feel immediate recognition. So I'd probably pick a different visual. Now, I do think there's good call to action, book a free call. However, look at this. It's actually not aligned, which is there's a few things here in the details and that, that matter to me because when you're looking for a designer, you expect them to be kind of like pixel perfect. And when you see things, now the client might not notice this like me that things are not aligned but you know they do get the feeling of messiness versus order and so you want to make sure that things are actually aligned also you know when i hover over this it becomes white over you know or uh yellow which is not very readable now this is actually good but i've actually watched the click video and was pretty disappointed to see that you know, the, the YouTube account was closed. So either remove this or actually make sure that you have your video off. Because this, again, feels like if this is broken, are you going to do like broken stuff for my business as well? So that's that's the top of the website. Let's scroll down. The businesses we solve. Again, I think it's really, really good that this website is structured kind of like a sales page that talks about the problems of the business owners. I think this is really good. And I think a lot of people don't actually write this way. However, instead of actually talking about the problems, he's actually talking about, I think, services like website sprints 
and funnel um, and landing page. So there's a little bit of inconsistency here. Either change this to our services or restructure this in a way that explains what website sprints actually solve. Um, and that can be like putting out your website in 24 hours by using a website sprint or something like that, or increasing your, you know, your conversions and your lead generation by using funnels or landing page. Cause these, these are not problems. These are solutions. So I would make sure this is consistent. Now this is okay. Focusing on results. And then there's a bit about me here. I feel also a little bit of inconsistency because it's not really clear if this is kind of a freelancer website or a, a media company agency website. But I do think I actually personally feel like when I'm hiring um, freelancers, I want to know that they're freelancers. So it's totally okay with me. I like this image. You know, it looks personal. It looks good. Um, yeah. I, and I like what you wrote about yourself. So yeah, I think this is pretty good. Now we get down into the actual project's portfolio. Now here, the thing is, I look at your designs and they look good. It looks like you're a good designer, um, but I wanna click, I wanna see more and there's nothing here. So I can't really click on this. And this is, I wouldn't say this is a great way to showcase a website. So I either, you know, make a bigger image, make this clickable, let me dive deeper or take me to the actual website itself but it's not it's not an ideal look this website is white and it's on a white background so it's hard to see it it's hard to actually you know see that this is a good website now here i've actually now these are all of a sudden clickable and it takes you to i'm not sure if this is a template or something like a template resource on webflow i'm not really sure if this is a real website or this is a template that you're selling so again, I'm a little bit confused whether this is client work because I've clicked on this as well and this takes you to bold themes plumbing. So now I'm confused. Either you're buying themes or you're selling themes or I'm a little bit confused whether this is actually, you know, uh, your work or work for clients. So I'm a little bit confused and I think if you're selling themes, I wouldn't think it's appropriate to show them as your portfolio for client work just because I think it's a different different kind of thing. I would put this as an offer for clients to purchase, but I wouldn't put them as in portfolio. I, I think it makes sense. Now, this is great. Customer loves us. And so I think testimonials are super important, but again, they're not working. So I'm pretty disappointed this page. Video coming soon. So I, I wouldn't say, I would say do not put a video icon if the video is not here yet, right? Um, if you could just, put like a textual testimonials, even if you have the video, you didn't have time to upload it, just put the text there. It'll be more worthwhile. Also do five free projects every month. This is an interesting, I would like a little bit more context on this. Otherwise, of course, I'd like work for free. Um, yeah, so I think a little bit more information. Otherwise, everybody will just ask for the free project. Anyway, Dagger, I hope Thank you for you know posting your link for review. I hope some of these things were helpful for you in order to improve and fix up your website a little bit. Overall, I think you're doing good job and you're a, a little bit more far ahead of a lot of other portfolios that I see, but I think there's some things here that can be improved and it's all in the details. Remember, your clients are hiring you to create great high-end pixel perfect websites for them. So make sure that your website itself is pixel perfect and at least looks great and decent and everything works in it. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this website and I'll see you on the next video.